Hello witches, wizards, and those who are yet to receive their Hogwarts school letters, welcome to my Harry Potter kitchen. This is the YouTube series where I'm baking my way through the Harry Potter books, making recipes for every item of food and drink that we find inside. If you missed last week's recipe where we served up a twist on the traditional Scottish haggis recipe with a Harry Potter lightning bolt twist, then make sure you check out the link down below in the description to catch up. And if you're new to the kitchen and you want to see more, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell then you'll get an alert every magic monday when there's a brand new recipe i'm in the mood for some sweet treats so let's head back into the chamber okay so let's head back to the death day party in chapter eight to find out what's next and we really don't have to look very far for our next recipe. It's the next part of the sentence from last week's. So let's carry on. There was a great maggoty haggis, a slab of cheese covered in furry green mould. Hopefully that's not too off-putting. If you'd like to recreate this cheesecake disguised as a wheel of cheese, then all the ingredients, measurements and instructions that you'll need are on my website, bradleybakes.co.uk. The link is down below in the description. So we are back with another death day party treat and today it is for cheese. Now I did think about making some cheese from scratch but I wanted to do something super magical for this one, a little bit more transfiguration and really bring out those mouldy elements of this dish. So today we're going to make a cheesecake disguised as a wheel of cheese. So there is going to be cheese inside it as we'll use cream cheese. Then we're going to do some decoration, bring out all of that mould and some worms as well. And the best thing about this is it's a no bake cheesecake so it's super easy to make which means you can spend a little bit of extra time bringing the magic to life. First up we need to make the cheesecake mix so this is what you need to do. First up we need to bloom our gelatin leaves so for this I'm going to add the leaves into some water and set this aside for five minutes until they go nice and soft. While that's blooming I'm going to get myself a pan of hot water and then place a bowl on top and then add in my chocolate. Stir this around until it's completely melted and smooth. I'm placing my bowl back over the simmering water and then adding in my butter and my sugar. Mix this through until it's nice and melted and then I'm going to squeeze off the excess water from the gelatin, add that in and stir it until it's dissolved. All that's left to do is mix in the rest of our ingredients. So I'm adding the cream cheese into my mixer and whisking that until smooth while slowly pouring in the cream. Next add in your chocolate and your melted butter and then carry on whisking until the mixture starts to thicken up slightly. To really bring out that cartoon like cheese colour I'm adding in some yellow food colouring and whisking that until it's evenly combined. Before we start assembling the cheesecake, I'm also going to make our buttery biscuit base and this is going to be green for the mould. So I'm going to crush up some ginger nut biscuits in a blender to get it nice and fine and then add those into a bowl. Separately, I've melted some butter and coloured this with green food colouring and then poured that into the biscuit, mixing it through until it's nice and evenly combined. Okay, so that is all of our cheesecake ingredients prepared. We've got this lovely green mouldy biscuit base, our rich and creamy no-bake cheesecake filling. So all we have to do is pop that into our tins. And for this one, you want to get yourself a tin that's got a removable bottom, just like this, either a loose bottom tin or a spring form tin. That's going to make it nice and easy for us to get the cheesecake out afterwards. Okay, we're going to assemble this and then get it in the fridge so it can start setting. To make sure we get a nice cheese illusion, we want to make sure that all of the outsides are just cheesecake and then we're going to sprinkle in that green mould in between. To make sure it comes out nice and neatly on the bottom, I've cut myself some baking paper and then placed that into the bottom of my tin. Place a couple of spoonfuls of your cheesecake filling in and then smooth that over until it's nice and level. Sprinkle over your mouldy biscuits so you have a nice hidden layer and then top it with some more of your cheesecake filling. Keep on going until you've used all of your biscuits and then you want to finish it with a final layer of cheesecake so all the mould is hidden inside. 
level this off and then we're gonna pop this into the fridge to set for at least three hours, preferably overnight. Okay, so our cheesecake is beautifully set. It's nice and firm. So all we have to do is take it out of the tin and then add a few final decorations. I'm gonna use a blowtorch just to make sure we get some nice clean edges. Then I've got a few extra decorations down here. Some gummy worms to make them look like they're crawling in and out of the cheese and some of our leftover green moldy biscuit face. So we'll assemble that all up and I'll show you one final trick to make this round of cheesecake look like a wheel of cheese. To remove the cheesecake from the tin, light your blowtorch and then gently work it around the outside. Warming the sides will help melt it just enough to help it slide out. So I'm gonna place the tin on top of the glass and then push it through. You can then carefully slide it off the bottom of the tin and onto your serving board. Now the trick to make this look like a real wheel of cheese is to add some cartoon-like holes in. So I've got myself a jug of hot water and placed my ice cream scoop in, but you can also use a spoon or a melon baller if you don't have one. Once the spoon is hot, you can then go in and sporadically scoop out some circles of your cheesecake. Feel free to do as much or as little as you like. And then for the final bit of decoration, I'm gonna press some of my green biscuits inside those holes and then make it look like my little gummy worms are crawling out. Keep on working your way around until you're happy with the decorations. And then this cartoon-like cheesecake is good to go. It looks so cool, we just might need to take a picture. Say cheese. So there you have it. We've transformed a traditional white chocolate, no bake cheesecake into something magical. That green mold looks a little bit disgusting, but I assure you it's going to taste incredible with that white chocolate filling. Let me know down below in the comments. Would you give this one a go? I can't resist. That is all for this week's episode, but if you want to see more from my Harry Potter kitchen, make sure you hit that subscribe button, click on the notification bell, then you'll get an alert every Magic Monday when there is a brand new recipe. It's cheesecake time for me, so I'll see you next week. I am not a fan of mouldy cheese, but I can't say no to this. <laughs> so good.